got it. You said it's the great outdoors, the open road makes a man feel like a king. Yeah, I'm a king. Hey, we better slow down. We'll get a ticket. Yeah, you, you, you know, bicycling is the greatest exercise in the world. Yeah. It, it hardens every part of the body, <coughs> including the brain. Yeah. Well, now, what do you say? Well, I... Uh, uh, can I talk to you into buying that bicycle? It's a great machine. Oh, now, listen, the price of that bicycle, I'll tell you all about it. You, well, what's the price of that wheel? Thirty-four seventy-five. Thirty-four seventy-five? Yeah, but take my tip. Go across the street to Lane. You can get the same thing for twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty? Yeah, with a radio attached to the handlebars. Say, that's all right. Anything to oblige your customer. Say, give me a hand there, will you, fella? Sure. This is the latest shade, old magenta. It's waterproof, windproof, and kiss-proof. <laughs> Anything I can do for you, madam? Yes. What kind of cream would you recommend for my face? <laughs> for a face like yours? Vanishing cream. <laughs> Yes, sir. Come here. You are, without a doubt, the most incompetent man in this store. Thanks, Mr. Jenkins. I'm glad you appreciate my work. I'm going to report you to the general manager at once. Gee, that's swell. See if you can get me a raise. I certainly will. Thanks. Look at this order. We lose $1,500 by it. But, Mr. Larson, I couldn't foresee the future. The fad has died out. I don't want fads and harebrained ideas. I want good common sense business deals. But, Father, it was Milt's ideas that made money for you last year. Milt's ideas ran this store? <laughs> Stuff and nonsense. This store runs itself. Anyone could be general manager here. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say about your future son-in-law. Very well. Milt, I'll make you a proposition. I'm taking a vacation for two weeks, and I'll take you along with me. While we're gone, I'll put in charge the most incompetent, dumbest man in the store. And if after two weeks the store isn't doing as well or better, I'll double your salary and consent to the marriage. Is it a bet? Mr. Larson, it's a bet. Okay, Dad. Fine. Then let's get out of the soda fountain and have a bite to eat. Doesn't he look strong? Uh, pardon me, this is called the utility club. It drives, puts, gets you out of traps and strange apartments. <laughs> <laughs> In short, every man should own one. That's fine. Let me try it. By the way, what is your golf handicap? Uh, my wife goes around with me. <laughs> now, keep your head down, your legs farther apart. Legs farther apart? Yeah, oh, no, no, what's farther apart? Farther? Yeah, to get your legs farther apart. Oh, get right. down. Okay, that's the idea. There you are. Now, stay that way several hours a day and see how much better you feel when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> Now, uh, what are you going to have, my dear? Just a chicken sandwich and a cup of coffee. Uh, make it uh, two. I'll have the same. Help! Help! I'm stuck! Call the manager! Never mind the manager. Here, let me show you what that club can really do. Now, let me have your watch. My watch? Be careful of that watch. It's an heirloom. Uh, well, don't worry. I never miss. Now, just hold still, there, boy. <laughs> You'll enjoy this. Now, don't move. Now, just steady yourself. So when you hold still, you make me nervous. Nervous? You nervous? What about me? Oh, I could do this with my eyes shut. In fact, I think I will shut mine. All right, now, here we go. Where's my watch? You can also use this club for a walking stick. There. There is the man. Vanderbilt, 7224. Hello, Mrs. McGee's boarding house. This is Joe Widget, the fellow who has the little back room. Move my things into the big front room. What? <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. I'm the new general manager. Goodbye. Uh, Mr. Thompson, I want to report one of my floor walkers. He's shiftless and he's a menace to our store. And we sure get rid of him. Uh, what's his name? His name is... Widget? What is the meaning of this? I'm the new general manager. You're crazy. Get out of this office. Enough of this, Jenkins. You're fired. Miss Jones, take a note of that. Yes, sir. But you can't fire me. Oh, yes, we can. Mr. Widget is the new general manager. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, Mr. Widget. I've got a wife and six little kids. And what would they do with all that room over there? Stop, stop. You're breaking my heart. Now go back to work. Thank you, Mr. Widget. Thank you. <laughs> I'll double your salary. <laughs> Thing to do, Mr. Widget. Why not raise everybody's salary? Say, that's a great idea. Wait a minute. Hello, uh, 
Uh, Chromis, five, one, four, five, three. Take it. Uh, Chromis, five, one, four, five, three. Yes. Uh, take a note. To employees, starting today, all salaries will be doubled, including the general manager. Signed, the general manager. Goodbye. Bye. Did you get that? Yes, sir. That's great. You're doing fine. Father will be delighted about this. <laughs> Maybe you'll make me a partner. You ought to. You know, I'll fix this door so nobody will know. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Tell me, dear, how are things at the store since we left? Oh, Mr. Widget has changed the store all around. Gentlemen, develop your muscles. All ladies love a tiger man. Very easy. Hello, Tarzan. How's business? Oh, great. That's <laughs> it. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry, darling. The store is doing fine. Of course, you know what I mean. Goodbye, darling. After the batter is thoroughly stirred, it is now ready for the miracle yeast. Now watch how miracle yeast works. Oh, oh, it's oh, oh, it's Folks, she's right. That's delicious. I think I'll have some more. Boy, that miracle yeast is great. It builds you up, never lets you down. Just spend all the tablets, lady, to retain your schoolgirl figure. Even one will show results almost immediately. Oh, do you think those tablets would do me any good? Why, certainly, madam. Slendola never fails. Here, let me try one. Now, folks, watch me shrink. Yeah, wait till I get around here. You're, you're getting too fast. 
I'm afraid you're too late. Mr. Widget had a penny sale. A penny sale? What's a penny sale? Mr. Widget sold every article in the store at two for a penny. The fool, the imbecile. Where is he? Now, this is very good to catch any kind of big fish. Now, watch me demonstrate. Oh, my gracious, he's with Mr. Larson. Oh, the idiot. This catches minnows, suckers, and all other forms of low animal life. Oh, hello, Mr. Larson. Wait till I catch you. Now, what's the trouble? Wait till I catch no, you. You, oh, you. You couldn't catch me if I had one leg tied behind my back. Now, it's water now. What? Goodbye. Where's India, Daddy? India? Let me see now. Uh, oh, boy. Now, take it easy, Mr. Larson. Look at it. Oh, Knock some sense into his head. Which way did he go? That way. 
Mrs. McGee, this is Joe Widget, the fellow who has the big front room. Move my things into the little back room. What? Into the alley? Goodbye. 